Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of OMG Tutorials. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do some 3D text using Photoshop. So first obviously you're going to need text, doesn't really matter what it is. I'm just going to write my name because that is my name. Capitals. Um, I've just downloaded some text that I really like so I'm just going to check that out if I can find it that is. Um, there it is. I like the kind of the crack look on it. It looks pretty cool in my opinion. So, uh, just put it in the middle because it's easier to work with in the middle. Click on it and then 3D. Oh, sorry, 3D. This one right here. Click on that. Wait for a minute. Oh, could not It's too complex. Oh, okay. So my the font's too complex for it. That's a bit annoying. Um. Okay, Call of Duty regular. That's pretty. That should be pretty easy. So, or you can just click this 3D button here. Just click on that. It's working. Any minute. And there we go, okay. So now we have the 3D look on it, as you can see just here, all right around. So right now, you can move it side to side. For, like, this is like in 3D dimension, you know. I'm moving up, but it's actually moving further back in the picture. Moving forwards, and it's moving right close. You know? Side to side is just normal, side to side. So if you want to move it in a 2D dimension, you have to click this button right here and you can move it 2D. If you want to change the look, look, the angle of the camera that you're looking at, just click on that button that just click on this button here and just drag in, you know, you can turn it any way you want. I kind of for 3D I kind of like about there. I think it looks rather cool. Okay. Now this, you don't have to do this. This is just to make it kind of stand out a little bit more. No, I kind of like this one. You don't have to go with this one. This is just me. Then what you want to do is you want to go to change the color on it. You want to go over to your little paint pot thing over here. Make it color whatever you want. Click on this. There we go. Okay, now this should pop up. I don't know why it goes through all this process, but yeah. And then you just pick your colour basically. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan of the light blue. The light blue bit I am. I think it looks really good. If you want to check what it looks like about the stuff, you can just click back on layer zero. It's your normal layer, no 3D, no boxes and stuff on your back of your screen. And you can see what it looks like. So let's go back onto the 3D and just click here. I think it's a text, no, it's not, it's a movement. There we go. And let's just get it, make it a bit bigger. So we're just turning it now. I'll leave you like that. So now, if you want a shadow on the bottom of your picture, because of because a three D will cast a shadow, a shadow, all you have to do is see this bit here, to click on it, and make it as big as you want. If you want it like really just a massive shadow, like if you got water underneath, you're gonna want a shadow like that, because obviously water gives out a good shadow. But if you want it just a little bit. Just like that, I'd recommend 12 to like 20. 20 is just there. It seems like a good amount to me. And it's, you know, pretty good. Looks pretty good with this like, big white background. 
it's, it's pretty simple really to do a 3D text on Photoshop. I've only learned this pretty much myself recently. So I'm all, we're all novices here. So let me just turn that down that some more so you can actually see the 3D on it. Now if you go here, you can change the depth of it. So you can make it as long as you want. Or you can make it backwards. Or you can make it, you know, a little bit. I like about, see that looks okay, but it's a bit too much on the side. So I like about there, because you can see it all the way along. It looks pretty decent. I'm a big fan of that. So now you can add some twist into it. Some taper. You can change the angle. I suppose you could have it like that if it's like you know it's kind of popping out. But no, I want it. I want it on. That's good enough for now. So your current view, you can zoom in with this. Uh, some people like to add a lens flare to their picture. So if you could do that, you have to go into filter render. And then lens flare, yes. And you got this lens flare just here. So let's change the brightness. Not too bright. I'll just put it there. So it should appear there at some point. At some point. Any point. Any point now. It's just going to come up there and it's going to be like, whoa. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> So you can add some more stuff here, obviously on your blending options and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you'd want to do that. You can add some outer glow to it. Let's say um, what goes good with a oh that might go good. Let's see if it let's see if it shows up actually. It might not show up. No, it's not showing up. Anyway, so that's pretty much how you make a free, a basic 3D image on Photoshop. If you want a more detailed video, I'll make one. Just leave a comment down below in on the video, and I'll be sure to make one. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.